Okay, guys, today I wanted to do a short PSA for you. Uh, this is a subject I've actually talked about a lot on stream here with them, and it's something I really wanted to bring to YouTube to let everybody kind of know ahead of time. I'm trying to get ahead of the timer rolls as much as I can, so I'm going to try to push this video out as fast as possible. But the PSA I want you guys to realize is that units like Koya and Skaya here are often going to overlap with some of the units that you guys are going to be rolling coming up here at the beginning of the year. And the big thing I want to focus on is the materials, because in a lot of those cases, there are materials that you guys probably aren't going to have a good farming opportunity for. So if you immediately end up using and rolling Tyra and you want to invest in her kit, the problem that you're going to have is you're going to start uh, going down the list here and you're going to end up investing and using a lot of your arrowheads. Same thing, Kichi Hogan is a welfare for you guys and she'll be relatively quick and easy, but who knows, maybe you need those LB3 bells or something like that. The thing here I'm trying to warn you about, though, is that, yeah, later on in the year, Koyan Skaya is going to be using up a lot of your bullets, a lot of your eggs, a lot of your arrowheads. And you guys need to be conscious of that and try to maybe plan ahead. Again, because for a material like arrowheads, you're going to need a lot of them this year. And there's no real good farming opportunity until at least summer six. And again, that will be a decent uh, farming opportunity because people are going to be farming that node that drops them a lot, mostly for the treasure chest since they give out really good rewards. But I'm going to show you guys right now my Chaldea app. And again, this one may or may not be the same as yours. I may not be rolling the same units as yours, but it's something I've definitely noticed. And so I'm going to go ahead and subtract out everything I've owned and everything I uh, am going to be getting from the events. And again... This is a just normal planning tool. You guys can use anything like WebCrow Simulator or again, the web version of Chaldea app if you so choose, if you want to plot out your units. I highly recommend it. I do have a video on it, but it's rather old. So it does kind of need some updating at this point. But if you do that, you can plot out your units and all the material needs and you can come in here and see what you need. These are the only materials I need for the next two years because I'm plotted all the way out. So I'm actually doing pretty good despite how big some of these numbers look. But again, so if I click into arrowheads here, you guys can see upcoming here, I've got basically active skills and a pen skills that need things. A pen skills, they're not my priority in most cases. Yeah, I might need some mana loadings here and there, like for instance, Maunobu, but I probably don't need it right away, or I can probably defer and wait until something else changes. The thing I'm going to point out, though, is, again, a lot of units here like Karen, like Tyra, you guys are going to immediately try to invest in because you really like them. Don't worry about that. But I'm putting you on notice that, hey, you've got units like Balbon, you've got units like Koyanskaya, you've got units like Summer Kama later in the year that are still going to use a lot of these arrowheads. So if you guys end up using all of your supply right now, be careful that you don't run into a scenario where it's like, oh, no, all of a sudden I've got Koyanskaya but I can't actually work on her. In fact, when this happened on JP, when she came out, was at a really weird time right after the Appens had launched. People didn't have lores to finish off their Koyanskaya. People all, often also didn't have either arrowheads or bullets to finish off their Koyanskaya. So I saw a lot of Koy Koyanskaya stuck at like skill seven, skill eight, that sort of thing. Again, be careful. Make sure you guys are planning ahead. That's the only reason I wanted to make this PSA. Check your meteor shards, check your arrowheads, check your magatamas, check uh, again your bullets, that sort of stuff. Try to make sure that at least for certain key units like Oberon, Koyanskaya, or maybe your favorite waifu or husbando, that you're okay. Check all of that now, you'll thank yourself later, and it may also give you a direction for how you want to farm when you get free time throughout the year. So thank you guys for watching.